Hey everybody, good morning. It's Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. We actually have some rain, the first rainfall in the Charlotte area since Ian hit, believe it or not. And we're going to see a couple waves of rain, though it's not going to be as widespread as Ian. You can see the cold front is still pretty far back to the west, a couple waves of showers ahead of it. But what we're seeing this morning is we do have some scattered showers heading into the Piedmont right now. So I had a couple questions about, you know, when's the rain going to start? It's not going to be just one time. It's going to be, we're going to have some showers this morning, which looks like this batch right here is going to be pushing through here. That should happen between now and lunchtime, as you could see that moving through. And then later this evening, we're going to see this cluster of showers down here, which you can see uh, basically over parts of Alabama, pushing off to the north and east. That will arrive tonight, and that's likely going to be the heaviest rain. And then finally, sometime overnight and early tomorrow morning, probably before lunchtime we'll see the the front move through with a batch of clouds um, and showers but probably the least of uh, scattered of the of the batch they are probably just going to be really isolated in nature now there is the risk for some strong storms to our west today you can see that area that's highlighted in the low to medium risk tomorrow not expecting much over us because the risk will shift up to the northeast um, because of the timing of this these storms will be weakening overnight and then re-intensifying as they push off to the north and east so let's look at the future cast we'll kind of time this out for you give you a much better idea on when all of this activity is moving through Here's the future cast. So you can see the first batch of rain moving through. That'll push through over the next couple of hours. Um, you can see basically around one o'clock, we've got that little cluster moving through. And then there'll be a lull in the activity between, I'd say, three o'clock, four or five. And then right around six, seven, eight o'clock tonight, you can see this second band of showers coming through. And there's another one back in Tennessee. This one is not going to be strong or severe, but don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder. There's certainly going to be that potential there as this moves through you see that rain moves through right there pushes off to the east and then here comes that next wave early tomorrow morning and you see the front it's still back here so the actual cold front is going to be here so this might be the lax batch of rain that pushes through and notice the time up here about five o'clock in the morning um, until about you know about nine ten and then it's just isolated stuff you see the front making a run at the mountains around midday tomorrow probably going to take most of the day to push through little band tries to develop right on the front at five o'clock so maybe the last gasp there at some point tomorrow afternoon but that looks pretty isolated and pushes through and goes off to the east fairly quickly and then is out of here so i'll loop this one more time this is a 48 hour future cast so this is the short range rapid refresh showing all of this mess moving through now what's interesting is once this front moves through there will be another cold front that comes through sunday into monday but if you look at the pattern here just looking at the radar by the way big dip in the jet stream is going to develop here and that's going to allow an upper level low to set up here and that's going to push much colder air in for the beginning of next week so after the second front comes through sunday into monday after a brief warm-up this weekend we're going to see a rather dramatic cool down going into next week in fact starting to look at some of the temperatures next week you see the warm-up this weekend this is the uh, ensemble so the range of possibilities the red line is the average high the blue line down here is the average low obviously both decrease slowly over time as we go into the later part of the month but you see the somewhat i would say mild weather here for this weekend but then look what happens monday tuesday wednesday the afternoon highs could struggle to get to 60. we could see our first a couple of days with highs only in the 50s and then possibly our first frost or freeze going into next week so there's going to be some really cold air coming into next week so how much rain will we see with the with the batch today let's take a quick look at that before i leave you just a real quick look at the amount of rain we could see with today's showers. You can see uh, this is the Weather Prediction Center's kind of outlook of rainfall through about 48 hours. And if you look carefully here, there is pretty isolated amounts down to the south and east, maybe a quarter or half an inch. But wherever that heavier rain band sets up, could see anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half. If we see some thunder, which is certainly possible, those areas would end up picking a lot more rain. So that's a look at one outlook, the Weather Prediction Center. Let's look at the local forecast as well. So the local amounts through about 72 hours will go out, kind of showing basically the same kind of setup. So you're seeing a little swath of maybe one or one and a half, and then maybe about a half an inch around Charlotte with lesser amounts. But again, I wouldn't read too much into specific locations and amounts, but kind of shows you it's going to be scattered depending on where these bands sets up. And if we go back to the future cast, you could see, you know, some of these areas, if you get caught under some of these heavier bands, there's certainly going to be some heavier rain and the other areas will see a lot lighter rain. So not nearly as widespread as Ian, but it is the first rain 
since Ian came through the area, it's been 10 consecutive dry days since then after 17 before that. So we need the rain, especially if you overseed it out there. So that's a quick look at the forecast. Let me go back to the radar. I'll show you the current radar. That's a look at the radar right now, getting some of the first showers this morning. But stay tuned. More on the way tonight.